Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. One team comes in off a of victory. The other comes in off a of defeat. With that, let's get you out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. They've got the call of this Week 9 matchup. After an off-season of questions, football is back here in the East Bay at Oakland, California. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Oakland Raiders. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game in these types of situations? Working from the gun, it's Carr. He's got time. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly. Just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Good job by the O-line. Quarterback had time to go through his checks. That's one you need to take advantage of. A perfect situation, and they're unable to take advantage of it. When you have that much time to scan the field, you have to find an open receiver. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And thus far in this NFL season, no touchdown score. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football, and they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Second down, here's Carr. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And it's third and short. And you really can't pin that one on the quarterback, Charles. The O-line, they've got to protect them. And they know it. That's their meal ticket. They want to take care of the big guy behind them. In this case, they let him down. Only a yard that time, so now he just...
They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Now Carr throwing on second down. Left side here to Sanders. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it third down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. He finds Beckham complete. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. First down coming there on the intermediate passing play. That's been a point of emphasis, they told us in practice, using those medium routes to keep the defense off balance. And it wasn't just them telling us. We got to watch them practice it and work on it because they've been trying to fine-tune it and get it right before this game. And I think they have to be happy with the result. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. I mean, I see a big man like that make a catch. All I keep thinking of myself is, big man with football. <laughs> and he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Rashad Jennings, his third touchdown now on the year. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Car to throw again. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Got a man. He finds Sanders. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And certainly a valuable tool to have in your kit, Emmanuel Sanders, and he's shown us quite a bit in this one. And that's why they wanted to use him immediately. You know they come out of the locker room saying, let's get the ball to him. Get him. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Travis Kelsey as the first half is winding down. here on first down and that's gonna be caught for a Raider touchdown Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown of the game fourth of the year and the Raiders add
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Travis Kelsey, his third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And this is obviously quite... here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Carr now on third and goal. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy. To Offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. 
they will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Black Hole celebrates the Raiders are winners here as we say so long from Oakland.